Good morning. Good morning. No, 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 no. The correct answer is yes, it is. Let's try that one more time. Good morning. Yes, it is. Listen to me. And listen very, very carefully. Because your future depends on it. Matter does not exist as we know it. What appears to be physical matter, behind it is a force. We must assume that force is a conscious and intelligent mind. Mind is the matrix of all matter. That's Nobel Prize winning physicists. Max Planck, direct quote. Mind is the matrix of all matter. Now this is not a new age, whatever the hell that is, guru. This is not a personal development specialist. This is not a spiritual teacher. This is Max Planck, the Nobel Prize winning father of quantum physics. Mind is the matrix of all what? Do you get this? No or yes? yes? I can't hear you. No or yes? yes? Now, I told you yesterday about my roommate, Bob. Yes? Yes. Mr. Where Am I Gonna Live? <laughs> well, Bob got on this roll. See, Bob is the only one of us who had been skydiving before. He's like, oh my God, guys, we gotta do this. It's so cool. You can't even imagine how awesome it is. Well, it didn't take much convincing. I found myself a few days later, miles outside of Atlanta, Georgia, waiting in this large field for a plane to pick us up. Now, when this plane landed, I instantly knew something was not right. Because see, when I watched Point Break, Patrick Swayze and Keanu, Keanu Reeves were studs. They were cool. You know, I mean, they could walk around and give a high five, and they had kinds of, all kinds of room, and they were cool. This thing that landed in the field looked like a Volkswagen Beetle with wings on it. <laughs> I was like, there's no freaking way. I glanced inside, and there was a space just big enough for three of us and the jump master. One seat in the plane for the pilot. Jump master said, let's go. Randy jumps in first. He's all gung-ho, and he gets in the back of the plane and pulls his knees up in front of him. I get in next, and I get over by the side and the window, pull my knees up as well. Bob had been jump, jumping before, so we had decided early on he should be the last man in, first man out. Makes sense, right? So Bob gets in, and then the jump master. As this monstrosity sputtered down the runway, 
finally got off the ground. It was dipping and diving and swerving. And I'm sitting by the window. And I'm watching as the houses get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Jumpmaster leans over to Bob and says, patting him on the shoulder, says, don't worry, Bob. It won't be anything like last time. <laughs> now let me ask you, have you ever had a time in your life where you look at your friends and there's just one question that comes into your mind. Why? <laughs> Have you ever had that? Yeah. Like, why the hell do I call them a friend? <laughs> You're in a defining moment right now. Will you step up to that line? In today's world, we're asked to step up to that line every single day. This is your defining moment. <clears throat> and as we've discussed, in a defining moment, there's only two choices. You either step forward in faith and power, or you step backwards into what? Fear. Fear. This is a defining moment for you. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? This is your defining moment. And the decisions and the actions you take or do not take in your defining moments in life determine your destiny. Oh, I should go. But what if this? Or I should go, but maybe I should stay. Or I should go, but oh, I don't know. It's a lot. Or I should go, but I'm afraid. I, I, should, I, I know I should do this, but, you know, I, I We've studied and explored so much. We started off with comfort zone, and we realized there's things you're comfortable doing. We realized you came into the room in a comfort zone. Might have been a highly functional comfort zone. Comfort zone nonetheless. We learned about the mind. We learned levels of consciousness. They've learned about pieces of paper that mean absolutely nothing at all. We've maybe expanded our definition of what wealth means. It's certainly not pieces of paper. I encourage you and challenge you to think in different ways and to do some different things. You've done it. And for that, I commend you. So look around this room. And I want you to find the people and notice the people that have made a difference for you in the last two days. People who have listened to you. People who have given you feedback. And you people that you've laughed with, maybe cried with. People you have hugged. Those individuals who have touched your life in some way. And I want you just to take a minute and go up to them and just look them right in the eye, this is so important, and just tell them how much you appreciate, how much I appreciate you investing two days of your life in me.